Okay, here we go. So I had to back off there because it was starting to spin. Um Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I have a 1962 Corvette Resto Mod. We're starting to see where a lot of Resto Mods come our way. Uh, as, as you may know, we're probably the largest Corvette Resto Mod builder out there. I believe we're, we've got about 12 in process right now. And you know, we just keep on getting more and more. But there's not a lot of shops out there that can work on resto mods because let's face it, everyone's different. And that's kind of uh, becoming, you know, uh, something that we're becoming well recognized for. So this one came uh, back earlier this year. It was built for a fella out in uh, uh, Detroit. And it started out as a really clean 62. He drove the car and liked the car, but didn't really love the car. Didn't like the way it drove, like like a, a lot of people don't. Love the looks of these things, but just they drive it and think this this just doesn't drive like my uh, you know like my Lexus. So he sought out a shop uh, out that way, and actually the shop is uh, well known. They actually have a TV show, and they, they do really nice work. Um, first and foremost, I, I I don't talk about any other shops out there, good, bad, indifferent. I'll point out, you know, the good things that other guys do, but I don't, I don't trash other businesses out there. Uh, number one, I, I think it's beneath us, and, and number two, you never really know the situation. Um, and hell, it's hard enough to run my own shop, so I, 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 I find it distasteful to do that. So I'm going to uh, disclose everything about this car. Um, there's a couple things that, you know, maybe could have been done a little bit different. Uh, but the main thing was um, the owner got it back, and there was a few things you didn't like. First and foremost, the car wouldn't stop. Um, you know, they put, first off, let, let's go through what this car is. Beautiful, nice, clean, unhit 62. And you can, we have the video of that show and, and, and the build, uh, which, which is kind of cool. Tons of pictures and, uh, you know, it's, it's really a well, a really well documented build. And, and a professional build, superb build. So the, the chassis on this is a Roadster shop fast track chassis. On these, they use uh, the nine inch uh, forward rear. That is a drag race package. That is set up for drag racing. It's a four link setup, bulletproof. So I'll get into you know what that's for. Um, the problem with that is the ride is not as good as an independent rear suspension. And that's what this customer was looking for. So it's, it's an LS3 uh, E-Rod motor with a 4L 65 E-Trans. And, and I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing but the best, the finest parts on this build. Uh, the interior is all custom made and, and really superb work. Uh, the, the guys out there uh, doing their interior work, um, hats off, superb. Uh, it had, it had uh, as I said, uh, non-assist uh, uh, six caliper Willwood brakes. We put a, a vacuum assist on it, thing stops real well. I've driven this car now. We actually did, you know, a lot of little things to it so this car has been you know through our shop and first and foremost I can tell you the car is safe and it's uh, it's reliable and it's going to be great for the next owner um, but that said what I'd like to say is what I would describe as the next owner now the again the reason it's being sold was it's just it didn't perform the way you know the customer expected but that said um, this car with with this setup this is a drag race setup the, the customer I think that's going to buy this car, or should buy it, is one who's going to use this car for cruise nights. And well, let me just let me let me back up. Here's what I would do with this car if it were mine. Uh, let's just say I had a fleet of cars. I mean, I've got some cars, but if I had a car for every occasion, this car would be the occasion of taking it to a, 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 a cruise night, uh, taking a friend I want to scare the living hell out of and doing burnouts and donuts, because you're not gonna hurt it. This thing's set up to do that. Um, all you're gonna do is burn through tires, and tires are cheap uh, relative to the amount of fun you'll have. If you want a car that you can just take out and really murder, uh, this is it. So uh, that's, that's how that car's set up, and that's, that's how it should be used. That's how it's intended to be used. 
these the Verge to Shop chassis is uh, it's an excellent chassis. The best of the best parts. They're they're indestructible, and it, it you know you're not going to break it. So quarter mile type car, straight line thrashing, um, or you know driving cruise night, whatever. But that's what this car's set up for. Uh, I've driven it. I like the way it drives. Uh, everything functions well. Yeah, it's got all the comforts. It's got power windows. It's got air conditioning. You know, full rack and pinion steering. Uh, Roadster Shop does that stuff real well. And the, the brakes on this thing are, are outstanding. We replaced the wheels. It had a strange wheel combination on it. Um, and they did a cool job with it, but it was just too much unsprung weight. So we've uh, we've put these shot wheels on and hey, uh, actually no, these are it had it had they had at some point shot wheels on it. These are Bose uh, forged wheels, and we ordered them for the car. And I think they look great. Really complements this color. The paint is uh, uh, glazurite. Uh, it's actually BASF base, iridium silver with uh, the glazurite clear, which is all compatible now. Glazurite was purchased by BASF, and that's actually the system we have. So we could actually do any paint work on this car too, which is good to know. I can match it and it's a base clear setup. It really pops, but it is a paint that can be fixed. And that's important on one of these cars because you're gonna drive the car. But uh, anyway, we're gonna take this thing for a ride. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I've had the car up to speed. Um, it's, it's rock steady. I probably won't take it up much over 70 miles an hour. It's just it's a little later in the day. Anytime I do to my test drives, you know, I got to make sure we're, we're operating safely. So uh, with that, we'll take this thing for a ride and see what you think. The other, th the other part of this car before I, uh, just one other thing, it's quiet. So um, that may be great for somebody, it may not be. That's just a, that's a muffler thing. So we can make it louder, but as it is now, it's actually a really pleasant car to drive. It doesn't rattle your eardrums. So let's do this. Okay. So this thing's still pretty cold. I'm gonna let it warm up a hair. And on this road, I'm gonna put the windows up. We'll ride with the air conditioning on. The AC in this car works quite nicely. Now this car is nice and quiet, uh, so quiet to the extent that you can really hear the uh, fuel, the, elect the electric fuel pump. But one of the things I do like about this build is that uh, you know it's very it, it, it's very mild and, and it, it's a car that it's got plenty of power, but it's it's nice and quiet inside. Now, you know, because it is a solid axle Corvette body, you know, there's some sound deadening in it, in the floors and, and I suppose in the doors like we do them. And it, it you know, it keeps the sound, sound down uh, by a large degree. But this is a car that you can talk to somebody while you're, uh, while you're driving down the highway. So that's, that's a nice thing. Very comfortable. Turn the AC up. Oh, it's a little too much. The AC works great in this car. And yeah, it goes down the road nicely. Um, I talked about briefly the chassis on this car, and this is this car has a Ford Knight interior on it, uh, set up with a four link. Now that is a, you know, that's basically a race car setup. This thing is, with this chassis and this this uh, four-link rear, this thing is uh, bulletproof in terms of, you know, if you if you want to take the car out and and uh, drag race it, you know, you're not going to hurt it. Uh, you're not going to get enough traction to uh, ever potentially damage anything in the back end of this car. So it's really set up for, for driving it aggressively. Um, 
I like the independent suspension, but you know, if, you, if you're on reasonably nice roads, it, it doesn't change it a whole lot. But as far as acceleration in a straight line, the four-link setup is, there's nothing better than that um, if you really want to drive aggressively. So, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's builds for everybody here, and, uh, you know, this one will, you know, be appropriate for somebody that, you know, wants that type of car. But I can tell you with a high degree of uh, confidence that it goes down the road really nice, and, yeah, it's a nice driver. There's surely no shortage of power. Um, Yeah, we weren't even in overdrive there. All right, we're all warmed up now. I don't think I'm going to make this leg. I'm not going to try. We'll do our typical U-turn here. Now, there's no red line on this tachometer. And I'm just going to let the car kind of shift where it's happy under... Uh, I'm not going to do full acceleration because I don't want to spin the tires um, if, if possible. So I'll do a rolling start because uh, this thing will just smoke the back tires if I mash it and at a stop. And I don't want to make a scene. Uh, I don't want to burn the tires up either because you know, there's not a lot of mileage on them. Uh, actually, they're, they're they're brand new tires. I don't think there's five miles on these tires, so we'll we'll be gentle with it. But I will show that it, you know, certainly can do what it's intended to do, um, and it should shift uh, in around six thousand RPM. So that's uh, you know I'll give it at least three quarters throttle, and, and we'll see how it feels. But yeah, the car the car really feels nice. The, it's got a, a nice sound system in it with the amps and kicker speakers and all that um, I'm not exactly sure how to use it uh, I have heard it before we my techs were going through it uh, so I know it all works real well you know we definitely um, went through this car and uh, you know debugged whatever was not quite right on it and, and made some additions like I said with the, the power uh, power brakes um, I just don't know why guys build these cars without power brakes it's like I don't know, you know, um, but we added that and, and that really transformed the way the car drives. It's just absolutely critical to have that. Uh, we won't build one of these. Okay, here we go. So I had to back off there because it was starting to spin, um, but that shot up to 6,500 RPM, almost full acceleration, and this thing goes down the road nice. I mean, it's yeah, it's just uh, <laughs> just uh, it, it, it's surreal driving a solid axle that uh, you know has such steering response and just such uh, straight line integrity it's um, just effortless you know if you've driven a lot of solid axles like I have it's you know you get out of the car and you're tired I mean it was work you know you got to go around turns and you know you don't go around turns you plan turns this thing's effortless just very smooth and easy so this is this is a cool car but again uh, th this car needs to go to somebody that you know is going to drive it Drive it hard. Um, you know, a, 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 a car with a chassis, uh, you know, with the four link as opposed to an independent rear, uh, it's a different animal. So, if you were the type of guy that, you know, is going to drive this car and drive it hard, or, you know, just like I kind of said, to, you know, in my, my pre log here. Um, 
you know, I envision somebody taking this car to a cruise night. Could be an hour away. And uh, this is the ultimate pull out of the cruise night smoky burnout car. I know we're not supposed to do that. In fact, it infuriates me when people do it at my place. But we know it'll never end and it'll never change. And that's uh, why people live for, you know, uh, the cruises. Anyway, some people. Uh, but now, the, you know, you, you have a car here that's really solidly built with really good components. Uh, it's been sorted. Um, this car really does not need anything. So, there you go. All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, let us know if you have any, uh, any questions.